Thanks to introduction of AED, defibrillation became part of basic life support. These simple to use units are based on computer technology which is designed to analyze the heart rhythm itself and then advise whether a shock is required. They are designed to be used by lay persons who require little training. Basic knowledge of life support is, however, essential and must be provided before an AED is made available. The use of an AED is only part of the rescue chain which includes Checking the level of consciousness Clearing of airways and monitoring breathing pattern Calling for an ambulance and asking somebody to bring an AED if available Starting chest compressions according to the guidelines for basic life support followed by rescue breathing 30 to 2 until the AED is brought. When the AED is made available, the rescuer must follow the instructions given by the machine. Tear open package and remove pad. Peel one pad from plastic liner. Place one pad on bare upper chest. Peel second pad and place on bare lower chest as shown. Do not touch patient. Analyzing rhythm. Do not touch patient. Analyzing rhythm. Shock advised. Charging. Stand clear. Push flashing button to deliver shock. Shock delivered. It is now safe to touch the patient. Start CPR. Give 30 compressions. Then give two breaths. After defibrillation, two minutes of CPR must follow until an instruction from the machine to stop resuscitation for a second analysis of rhythm is issued. The use of an AED should increase the survival rate for victims of out-of-hospital cardiac arrest from 6 to 10 percent up to 40 percent. The places are signed with a logo. Hello, put this in Negro. So, yeah, so you keep starving. Hello, what about it? Connect electrode. Stand clear. Analyzing now. Stand clear. Shock advised. Stand clear. Push to shock. Po defibrilaci pokračujeme dvě minuty v resuscitaci a opět necháme přístroj analyzovat srdeční rytmus.